EKU men's basketball lifted the lid on the 1920 campaign at McBrayer Arena last night as the Colonels welcomed in the mocks of UT Chattanooga for the season opener. First half, Colonels down five when sophomore Houston King knocks down a pair of jumpers to cut it to one. Ensuing possession, Dome splits traffic, drives the lane, and crashes into Trey King, who says put the damage on his charge card. The sophomore was just getting warmed up. Eastern still down one when TK intercepts this pass and my man just wrecks the rim to put the Colonels on top. Lachlan Anderson joins in on the fun as the Aussie hits the trifecta. EKU on the inbound and Crookshank hits Ty Taylor near the baseline and the senior tosses that dime in the well to cap an 11-0 run, Eastern up a half dozen. Chattanooga would pick up a little steam and close the half on a 23-12 run as the Colonels go into the break, trailing 38-33. Second half, EKU down three. Darius Hicks using a nice spin move and pump fake before going up strong. Next Eastern possession, Hicks gives it up to Huey at the top of the key, and he buries it. King again, this time from the corner. Buckets. Huey wasn't done as he collects all three of these from the wing to finish a 15-0 run and put EKU up 10. And the Colonels would go on cruise control from there, as they go on to win 79-68. Houston King led all scorers, pouring in a career-high 19 points. The Ohio native would go 6 of 8 from the field and 4 of 5 from downtown. Redshirt junior Darius Hicks enjoyed his return to the court as he logged a double-double, notching 18 points and grabbing 12 rebounds. And sophomore Jamaru Brown tallied 12 of his 14 points in the closing stanza. As a team... EKU shot 52% from the field, and defensively, Eastern Kentucky threw a block party in the second half, swatting five of their seven in the final 20 minutes. So the Colonels are back in action on Friday when they head to Lexington to take on the Wildcats. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.